My name is Mark. Welcome to my shop. Today we're going to do a maintenance video. Maintenance video of sorts, I guess. A lot of you that are new to trailers have uh, been asking me about what would be a good tool set to carry with me when I go out on my adventures. Um, this is a video describing my tool set. Now, every man has a different tool set, and talking to men about tools is a very personal thing. So I'm sure that lots of guys out there are going to tell you you don't need to carry this or you need to carry that or what. Um, every, every man's toolkit is unique to him. So what I'm going to show you here is my toolkit. This is the toolkit that I've been carrying with me for over 45 years of traveling around in trailers. Um, this is a set that I use. This won't fix everything. This will get you out of most jams, most problems, and allow you um, to continue camping. This is what I call save a camp kit, right? If something breaks and you can't fix it, you have to go home. This will save that camp. So first let's get in here and let's start looking at what, what we've got here. There's three things. I have a case, and I have my tools laid out into two, two, two different types of, of equipment here. I have my tools and I have my consumables. Tools, um, once you buy them, you're good to go. Consumables, you run out. As you use them, you run out. And we'll go over that. So let's start at the beginning. You're going to need a good canvas case. Um, that one zips up. It's got nice handles on it easy to store, easy to carry. It's soft side so that I can pack it into any any place that I want. You need a good case. Now this happens to be for a Craftsman case. I, I'm, this is not a not a commercial for Craftsman but I like Craftsman. They have great warranty and they're good tools. I have a great name. So start with a case. Next thing you need, you need a good what's called a socket set. This is a 25 piece socket set. It comes with a three quarter inch socket drive. It comes with a screwdriver with a multi-bit in it. Here are the multi-bits that you're going to need. You're going to need some straight blades, you're going to need some Phillips, and you're going to need those special little square things that are all over in the tab trailer. It's got a few sockets, general standard sizes, and an extension. So, socket, screwdriver, bits, extension, and sockets. That's a 25-piece set. Um, I found that at Ace for just a few dollars on sale. You need something like that. Next thing on the right, you need at least two bungee cords. You never know what's going to fall off your trailer, what you're going to need to tie down inside or outside or otherwise. Two bungee cords is great. Next on the list is what's called a multimeter. Now this is for testing your electrical system to tell you how your batteries are charged, that kind of business. Now this can be a little complexing and daunting to people. I may do a video on how to use it as far as trailers go, but this is called a multimeter and you need one. You can find them at Lowe's for like 10 bucks. No big deal. Next thing on the list, you're going to need something to wipe stuff down with. These, this is just an old terry cloth towel. Um, when my wife uh, throws one out, I grab it and I use it. Um, some people use paper towels. I try to... Uh, you know, I'll wash that or I'll throw it away after a million uses. Um, I don't like to waste paper towels like that. So you need something to wipe your hands with. So move back over to the left. I like to carry a nice stiff brush with me. 
Um, I get mud on my shoes. I get mud on myself. I get mud on the side of my trailer. I need to scrub something down. I need to scrub a picnic table off. Blah, blah, blah. Nice to have a good scrub brush. Next, we're going to go down that direction. You need a good pair of regular pliers. You need a good pair of channel locks. You need a good pair of needle nose pliers. You need a good pair of channel of, excuse me, of vice grips. Um, vice grips are nice. They work like pliers. They're adjustable, but they'll also work as a clamp. They give you, when you push these and clip these down, they stay put and they'll hold things for you. Give you a second set of hands. Next thing you need, need wire cutters. These are called diagonal wire cutters. You need a good set of them. Good stout set. They come in all sizes. You want a pretty big set so you can cut through things you need. Next thing, good pair of strong scissors. Going back to the left. You need a file. There are times, this is just called a rat tail file. It's a metal file, plastic handle. Um, there are times when you find things that are sharp that you wish that they weren't sharp, um, things that break, you're gonna smooth things off. That's a good tool to have. Now, you need a set of screwdrivers. But even though that set has most screwdrivers you need, you're gonna need some specialized ones. You're gonna find that, that that screwdriver sometimes is not big enough. So you want the biggest Phillips head you can find. You want the biggest straight blade you can find. Two big guys, so when you really need to reef on something, you can. Next thing you need is you're gonna need what's called a stubby Phillips. Because sometimes you're gonna be in places where none of these handles, they're all too long and they don't fit in places. So you need a stubby Phillips, and a stubby straight blade. Then you're gonna have some times when you need to do something really small, like, oh, I don't know, glasses or something break. You need a very, very small tip, the smallest tip flat blade you can get, and the smallest tip Phillips you can get, okay? Next thing you need, you need a set of Allen wrenches. You recognize these. Um, don't use these a lot, but when you need one, you need one. So. A good set, a complete set. Um, that's a uh, 15 piece right there. Next thing you need is a little container of uh, razor blades, um, cutting stuff, scraping stuff, all kinds. Who knows what goes on there? Next thing you need is a tape measure. Just carry a small one. You don't need a, you know, this happens to be a six foot tape measure. Um, works great for me. Moving on, get yourself a hatchet. Keep it really sharp, keep the tip covered because you don't want to be reaching into your box there and cutting yourself. But this is a good hatchet. It's good for you know everything you do with wood, but it also, with the back end like this, this is all the hammer you're ever gonna need. That works great. So get yourself a good hatchet. Getting down into some specialized stuff, get yourself a nice, reliable air pressure tire gauge. Not one of the cheap ones um, those guys can be, sometimes they can be up to 10, 10 pounds per square inch off. Get yourself a really nice air pressure gauge. Next thing on your list, a, uh, a lighter. Um, really straightforward. I like this lighter in that this is one of the ones that sends out a jet. It's not, um, it's not just a flame, so watch this. That's a jet so that even if the wind is blowing or if it's raining out, that guy will light and he'll light reliably. Next thing you need is a good flashlight. Um, something focusable, something LED, something really bright. The brighter, the better. Next thing on my list. This is called a breaker bar, right? And it's got, for me, it's got a three quarter inch thin wall socket on it. That's what I need to take off lug nuts off. If I get a flat, that will do everything I need to do. It's really long, gives me lots of leverage on the nuts, the uh, wall and the size of this fit. So you need to get yourself a breaker bar and a socket set, leave them together and check to see that they do everything you need to do on your trailer out there, that it fits everything you expect it to do. Next thing you need, two crescent wrenches. 
one at 12 inches, one at six inches. These are just the typical spinning crescent wrenches. All right, we're running down to the wire here. Now to what I call consumables. The, uh, I'm gonna, to, to demonstrate some of these consumables, I'm going to need to put you on a video on a tripod here so I can use both hands to open this up and stuff. So we'll be right Okay, now. we're back. Now we're gonna go through the items that I call consumables. First consumable, standard fuses. These are standard glass type fuses. Some are slow blow. They're in different sizes, different currents. You can see how you've got some little thin ones there, some little small ones. Um, what's really nice here is this is a little medicine bottle. Works great to hold them in there. But I can't tell you what fuses you need because each one of these trailers is so different. You have different kinds of fuses in them. So you're going to have to go through and you're going to have to make a little list of all the fuses you need. Go and look at everything. Your fridge, your stove, your radio, your CO detector, everything that you need, you need to have, you need to have fuses for. And I'll tell you something about fuses. You need at least two of them, two of them, because this is what's going to happen. Your appliance is going to stop working. You're going to troubleshoot a little bit and you're going to find that a fuse is blown. You're going to replace the first thing that your tendency to do is replace that fuse. Well, you know what's going to happen? One of two things is going to happen. One, that's going to fix your problem. Or two, it's going to blow another fuse. Right? So you, if it blows that fuse again, you need to continue troubleshooting and find out what's going on. If you've got two of every kind of fuse you need, then you can fix the thing. But if you're only carrying one kind of fuse, the tendency is to have a fuse blow, replace it and have that one blow too, and then you're stuck. So carry two of every kind of fuse you need. So these are the little glass fuses. These guys are called blade fuses. And again, they come in different sizes and different current rate ranges. Um, you need to go through your trailer and look at your converter box and all over and find what size fuses you need for your specific trailer. Again, two of every kind. The next thing that I like to carry, you recognize those. Those are hose washers. You're gonna find that <laughs> you lose these things. Carry some of them. Nothing's worse than not being able to hook your trailer to water when you need it. Next thing on my consumable list, um, these are wire nuts. Um, I have different sizes here. There is no quicker way to get yourself back on the road than just stripping the loose wire off and putting a wire nut on it. That's a good temporary fix and it will get you on the road faster than anything else you're gonna do. Next thing on my list, for those of you who have seen my uh, trailer hitch video about how I lube it every time I take it, I, I you know hook my trailer up and disconnect it, how I wipe down with a little bit of grease. This is a little, little medicine bottle. I put some of that grease in there. So this allows me that when I'm out there, I don't have to carry a big thing of grease or anything. It's just water, you know, watertight. It's not messy at all. I just stick my finger down in there and that's what I use to wipe my, um, to lubricate my balls. You need Velcro tape. See that stuff? This is great. If you want to hold something up, you want to tie something down, a roll of Velcro works nice. Next thing you need is just some standard steel wire. This is just steel wire. It's no big. Um, works great to fix a lot of things. You're going to find that it's really handy to have that. The next thing you need is electrical wire, two colors. Um, in a trailer, blue is typically um, blue and white for hot and ground. Um, just some good 10 gauge wire. I just got a couple of feet of it here. You never know. Um, this is a good thing to have. Next thing, you recognize this stuff on the other, tra other um, uh, break video I did. This is called spiral wrap. If I've got a piece of wire that's laying in there that has been chafed or vibration is starting to give me some trouble with the insulation, wrap it with that, you're good to go to get you home. Next thing, Teflon tape. Um, some of your stuff, you, you're, you find a gas leak or something, nice to have some Teflon tape there. Um, straighten yourself out. 
Then there's Gorilla Tape. People know this is duct tape. Um, gorilla Tape, you know what this is for. I also carry a little bit of um, three-in-one oil. Um, this is just, um, this is made by gunk, but it's just light lubrication, um, some hinge, some lock, something, just a light lubrication if, if you're having trouble with something that's sticking um, or squeaking or giving you trouble. So in a nutshell, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, um, oh, one really important thing. You, this is my super secret weapon. This is a fuse puller. When you're reaching down into your trailer, into electrical system, and you want to pull one of these fuses out, this pulls both kinds of fuses out without getting yourself electrocuted by something going on next to it. See how it's got this little keeper in there? Put that fuse in there, twist this this direction, and then you can pull that fuse out just like that. See how that works? That's great. Um, the other side of this guy, let's pull out one of these blade styles. This side pulls out the, the, the round fuses. This side will pull out the blade fuses. So you can pull, you can yank to your heart's content with one of these guys. So you need a fuse puller, the secret weapon. <laughs> Keep you from getting shocked. Um, save you a lot of aggravation stuff. So get one of these and keep it with your fuses. Well, in a nutshell, folks, I think that's it. That's everything. Oh, <laughs> not quite. One last thing. Um, you should carry a level. This level, however, is really, really nice. It's standard level, like what you're used to, but it's got two features I really like. One, it's magnetic. See that? so that I can stick this on the side of my um, trailer and it doesn't, it won't, I can back my trailer up, I don't worry about this falling off. The second thing that's really nice about this, check that out, it's lit. So I pull in after dark, I turn this guy on, it's got some batteries in it. I turn this guy on and I can level my trailer without having a flashlight, without, without anything. So this level's really nice, it's magnetic, so it sticks to my frame really nice and it lights up at night if it's dark out. So there we go. I think we're done. Now I'm sure that we're gonna get all kinds of comments about um, other tools that I may be missing or whatever. That's great. Every, like I say, every man's got his own set of tools, but in my years of, of trailing, this is what you need. Um, <laughs> just, just exactly what you see here. Anyway, Thanks for hanging with me. Um, hope this helps you. If you're new to this sport, <laughs> good luck. Stay safe. This will help. Bye-bye.